Salute to the Oregon Man, it's your boy Dion Zora, back in another reaction today, and I thought it'd be amazing to bring you guys the Bat Incident 1959 outdated. Now look, this is coming in by MNOS, so this, look, if you don't know, you can request videos for me to react in the Google Doc in the link in the description below. Uh, all you gotta do is put your name, the link to the video, and a brief summary if you want, or a message to me. Hi, by the way. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. I haven't seen it, I don't even know what the fuck it is, but... Mnaz wanted us to react to it, so thank you so much, Mnaz. Everyone say thank you, Mnaz, in the comments, and it's by Oblivion. So, without further ado, or gang, let's give it a view. It's a, supposedly it's about Batman. That's all I've been told. April 26, 1959, 20 years after the death of Thomas and Martha Wayne. 20 years. So they died in 1939. The Elizabeth Arkham Asylum was placed under lockdown after a, a mis a mistri What is that word? Miscretious figure was spotted near the roof of the building. A mysterious. Oh, I thought that was a C. I thought that was a C. I'm not sped. I promise I'm not sped. I thought it was a C. Here's the recovered footage of the lockdown. Okay. So it's an announcement. Okay. Arkham. Attention. All staff at this time. Just follow all lockdown procedures. There has been a disturbance in the roof of the building. The GCPD Gotham City Police Department and Arkham Security has been called to assess the situation. Okay. Follow all procedures for the following patients. Patient number 83357 alias, Waylon Jones Killer Croc. Patient number 97567 alias, Kirk Langstrom the Man Bat. Patient number 72679 alias, Dr. Pamela Lillian Isley, Poison Ivy. Okay. Patient Zero, alias John Doe, the Joker. If you encounter anything suspicious or come in contact with a man dressed like a bat, turn the other way and meet security? Is that what that says? I'm sorry. This alert will keep playing until the situation has been resolved. Aye, aye. By the way, I like that they put John Doe as the Joker because Joker is unidentified. No one actually knows his alias. I think there's a comic that kind of dives into that like way back in the day. But as far as we know, that is, I mean, we don't know who he is. It's a good detail there. I like that. Described as a witness as a man in a bat suit hiding in a dark corner. Is he a cop? Batman? Here is an artist's rendition. Oh, fuck. Get ready. Chat. I'm sorry. What was I looking at just now? Sorry, I was so... I'll read it. He was said to be muttering justice and looked malnourished as if he was isolated from the earth for a long period of time. So you're telling me Batman... Someone just sent me a message. So you're telling me Batman is literally just a weird fucking obsessed cuck in the corner? He's like this. Look, he's like this. Justice. 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 Justice, 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 justice. That's what Batman's doing in 1959? You got some explaining to do, Bruce. Like, what? He was screaming. He heard from the cells, but he was never seen again. Not him leaving, the way he came just vanished from nothing. Huh. However, what he left behind haunts the city of Gotham even to this day. Would you leave, Bruce? Out of the four patients in special containment, only patient Joker survived. The result of the rest horribly and disturbingly M-worded, each marked with a bat symbol. This is a serial killer, Bruce. What? Neatly arranged in the shape resembling a bat. He's fucking insane. Each of the three patients has a abnormal bodies, but all three abnormalities were removed. Jones and Isley both have their skin removed, which Jones also having his eyes and teeth removed as well. Isley, I, I hope I'm saying that right, was also discovered bald when she had originally a fiery red hair? Oh, this is some sadistic shit. Langstorm had his arms amputated and suffered from blunt force trauma from a pipe, as well as sharp objects in the shape of a bat impaled on his chest. Jesus, Batman, I thought you didn't kill people. Patient Joker was left not touched, but left in an even worse mental state than before. <laughs> so, Bruce, you're telling me the ultimate form of revenge you could think of for Joker, your ultimate enemy, by the way, is to make him more criminally insane than he already is? You know what? That's brilliant. You know what's worse than death for Joker? Being tormented by the bat, Batsy, for the rest of your life. 
that's kind of crazy. Hey, Loki, I fuck with this version of Batman. He's a serial killer fucking sociopath. I mean, honestly, so far, I kind of want to see it animated. Okay, I know it's kind of grotesque, but still. His doctors and physicians informed him of his drawings of the man, said that he won't stop talking about him, and that he's ready for when he returns. When the Dark Knight returns, but I'm just... This is the image he drew. Okay. Jesus Christ. Now, I, now Bruce, I'm just gonna say it here. Hold on, I'm trying to get a. Okay. Now, Bruce, we're gonna dissect you here, okay? I see the fucking fucked up teeth you got. I know this is 1959, but Bruce, you need to get a dentist, okay? Sorry, but you need to get a dentist. Secondly, the eyeballs, Bruce? I can't tell if you misshaped your face, because this is 1959. You don't have your billionaire inventions and shit. So I'm thinking you deformed your face to look like Batman's mask or some shit. Is it devil horns or is it the ears? I, this is, this is cursed. Oh my God. That was it? Batman Analog Horror Series Explained. 30 MINUTES! Needs no okay, if y'all want the explained video, uh, go in the comments and please let me know and we can watch the 30 minutes. I mean, if y'all want to know what the lore is behind it, we can do that because I really don't know what to take from what I just saw. But that was an amazing video. M. Nas, thank you so much for uh, <laughs> submitting that into us. It's honestly getting the gears in my head turning and I'm very curious as to... I mean, we got a lot of the lore, but why is Bruce like this? Why is Bruce sadistic? Why is he making bat symbols imprinted in people? And why did he choose the Joker specifically to torment worse than death? Like in this timeline, they don't, do they even fucking know each other? I guess that's why I need the explain video for answer for questions like this. But anyway, please go in the link below. Please give Oblivion, Oblivion a like and a sub, please. And also please give M. Nas some thanks in the comments. Tell him. You know, just say, hey, thank you for the video, M. Nas. M. Nas, you're a goat. The motherfucking god! And as always, raise your hand up. Now get ready, because we're going to go ahead and salute out of here, man. I love y'all. W25K. We're almost there. We're halfway to 50K. And then we're going to have that amazing 100K plaque right there, right there on the wall, man. I fucking love you. We're going to get there soon. Thank you for the channel members. Thank you for the super thanks. I love y'all. Salute!